What's up, everybody? I'm JB Black CEO, and welcome to Black CEO Media 2.0 out here in America. All right, today is Tuesday, September 5th, 5th, 2023, out here in America. You know, it's a shame that um, these people, these so called friends or frenemies, um, they're still walking the streets of out here in America. You know, it's a shame. They're still out here walking around, and Quilla is no longer here. You know, for whatever reason, Quilla did this, Quilla did that, whoop de whoop, however. Um, real quick, I want to say what's up to Facebook. I want to say what's up to Twitter if you're over there. Uh, we're going to get ready to play the Docky series, uh, giving credit out to Tubi. Uh, that's the independent uh, Safe Fences movie uh, like platform. You can Google that and go over there and check it out. And uh, we're dealing with Safe Fences East Cabo 6 none friends not friends you know and it's the same i have to repeat that these people are walking around here in the streets of america you know one with a, a femicide charge and it's a shame you know and if you're new here this is uh going to be the footage of where uh tubi uh the producers put together you know some of what they think may have happened and you know they got some fictional characters in here though so and it's interesting and hopefully this can keep the heat on the Cabo six so if you're new here make sure you subscribe hit like hit that notification button here on youtube and if you're over there on facebook twitter make sure you follow us on twitter black ceo media 2.0 followers on facebook the groups or whatever you know what to do hit that like button and the follow button over there on facebook and if you're on facebook let me know i see your love coming from the other side what's up Jalen? what's up tan and uh, I'm gonna get ready to uh, play this this docu series. You know, we're gonna let it flow. I got it queued up behind the scenes. Though. But before I play it, I'm gonna say it again. It's a shame that these six people and whoever else or whatever is still able to walk around here. You know, it's a shame they walking around here in America, and I don't want to walk around with them. And I know you don't want to walk around with them. I don't want to walk around here in America with these people that are evil. So let's get to it, you know, and uh, I'm sure that the family probably don't agree to a lot of the scenes in there and, you know, the way they kind of redid it, though. But let's get to it. Mad love to both sides of the family and let's pray for them over right, y'all. All right, let's get ready to roll. In the streets of Detroit, many are wrongfully accused of a crime. We are the firm that represents them. Still trying to make that PPP money stretch. Chill. Mom, you I couldn't even afford this trip. She's so <laughs> okay. the only one doing good. Deja, chill. You chill. Whatever. It's always a hater. Don't be mad for your bro. Smell like straight up hater in here. <laughs> please, please, you ain't all that. Your vibes are off, baby. But we're in Cabo, oh. and I think you should smile a little bit. Right, we got y'all PYTs on these RVs and jet skis, plus a dog-ass brunch on a yacht plane? Come on, no. And don't forget the chef. Ooh, ooh, mm. this Like I said, you ain't shit. Damn, Dez, what the fuck is you tripping? That hoe know what she did? What's funny is how y'all don't know. I'm gonna mind my business and uh, go to this bathroom. Yeah, you do that. Uh-huh, no, 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 no. Come back, because what don't we know? What don't we know? Yo, what the fuck is up? 
I just landed at the airport. I'm on my way to the villa right now. She's still asleep. <laughs> What's up, everybody? If you're on the, uh, uh, we, we're playing this on Black CEO Media page and we also plan this at the barbershop talk tv it's your choice which channel you want to come to barbershop talk tv or black ceo media 2.0 all right let's roll yo what the fuck is up the party's here damn it's dead as fuck in here and she's still asleep yo time to wake up and party hey wake up nicole it's time to get drunk what happened last night? Uh, the bitch is drunk. I mean, I see that, but but she's not even waking up. Hold on. Nicole. Nicole. Is she okay? I don't know. I don't feel her pulse. Baby, what the fuck you mean you don't feel her? Nicole. I ain't no doctor. Nicole. Nicole. Playing. Pulse. Yo, I don't, I don't feel no pulse either. Shit, y'all. Okay, I'm gonna call the ambulance on the front. Whoa, whoa, hold on, hold on. Everybody just wait. And hey, there seems to be an emergency. What's the problem? Oh, my. Yeah, she got alcohol poisoning. How long has she been this way? Um, just a few minutes. Can you get her together? Uh, her pulse is very famous. I have to do CPR right away. Nurse, come on. Me, all right? Somebody is going to tell me what the fuck happened last night. I sent you to life. She was fucked up. Yeah, but how fucking much were you drinking? The fuck if I know. You got a cold, Autumn. I gotta give a fuck. Oh, chill out, chill out, chill out. What are we going to do? There is nothing that we can do at this time. Unfortunately, I believe she has passed. Oh, my God. She shouldn't have been drinking all fucking night. Dog. Fuck. I'm going to have to call it. The time of death is 5.57 p.m. I am very sorry for your loss. I am going down, down, with you. If you're going down, down. Get you someone new. You put me through hell now, baby, and coupled it love. So save me your excuse. For a trouble, for a cause. Trashy gossip about my flaws. Break my wings, but I have yours. Just like a fan club. Man, I gotta get out this fucking room. Exactly, man, me too. All this drama, and she shouldn't have been drinking so much. That's what I'm saying, but it's a hotel right next to the airport. I'm about to go check into that bitch. Me too. I'm headed to the front desk right now. Hey, hold up. I'm coming with you. Oh, shit. I forgot my phone. I'll be back. Hello? Miss Peebles. Hey, baby, how's the trip going? I have to tell you something. Um, ma'am Nicole, she's dead. What are you talking about? We were drinking last night a lot, and she got alcohol poisoning, and... Where's my daughter? She's in the hotel room. Why isn't she in the hospital? The doctor is in there with her. We tried to wake her. She wouldn't get up. Ma Malachi, what is going on? I'm sorry, Miss Peoples. Nicole is gone. Autumn didn't mean to hurt her. It was an accident, I swear to God. Like, what are you doing? Hello? Hello? Think I'm gonna get blamed for this shit? My phone, you ain't shit. 
Let me check us out. Yeah, you do that with your cry baby ass. Excuse me. Can I get some help? Hi, how may I help you? We'd like to check out our villa. We need somebody to move her body. Excuse me? The doctor pronounced our friend dead, and we just want to Okay, shh. Please lower your voice. I don't care. I understand, but we pride ourselves in a wonderful experience here at our resort. Shit, it's been hell since I got here. I'm so sorry to hear that, sir, but bad press and comments about your stay here is just not a good look for us. Man, I don't give a fuck right now. Okay, one moment. Okay, great news. We're going to refund you your entire stay. Well, Nicole paid $5,000 for our trip in full already, so. Understood. Uh, would you like that refunded on a card or do you want that in cash? Oh, pay me in cash. Okay. Remember, no bad press. You don't gotta tell me twice. Have a nice day. Baby, how you doing? Hello, Mom. I need to talk to you. Something happened. Are you okay, baby? Yeah, no, I don't know. Look, we was drinking a lot. Somehow, Nicole got an alcohol poison. I don't know. It was a fight, and... Well, slow down, baby. Who was fighting? They was fighting. Who are they? Nicole and Deja. Ma. Nicole's fucking dead. Dead? How is she dead, baby? Deja killed her, Ma. And I believe the others had something to do with it, too. Autumn, baby, you need to tell me the truth. I need to know exactly what happened. You're right. And I got a video of Nicole and Deja fighting, too. Good. Send it to me. Why? Because we're going to leak it to the internet. No, no, Ma. No, I don't think that's a good idea. Girl, are you dumb? You are in another country. You are in Cabo. They will lock your little ass up. Do you understand me? You are right. I know I'm right. Because if that footage shows that it's blame on them and not you, then it's blame on them and not you. Do you understand me, baby? OK. Autumn, baby, what have I always taught you? To cover my own ass. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Exactly. That's why you need to send me that video now. I'm going to get on the phone with the lawyer. We're going to get ahead of this, okay, baby? I love you. Just trust me. I got your back, all right? You good, sir? I will be. Let's go get some shots. Okay, so you know what I've been thinking about? I've been thinking that this office really needs a vacation. Now, that's what I'm talking about. Yes, Kai, girl. Not you talking, but where would we go, though? Okay, so I've been thinking about it. Cancun. Yes. Okay. Count me in. Okay, good. Me too, okay. definitely. I'm definitely about to look up this reservation so we can book ASAP. I can see myself right now, my mimosa, yes. on the beach with the mimosa. Hey, hey, hey. Yes. Whatever y'all talking about has to wait. We got a new case. What case? You won't believe it. Oh, well, that's my cue. Oh. I'll let you know what I find. Okay. So hold on later. I know this ain't the case that's been all over social media. Yes, it is. The six in Cabo? How the hell did we get this case? So Angela Young came to the office last night. She wants us to represent her daughter, Autumn. Okay, wait, nah. Is Autumn one of the girls responsible for Nicole's death? And yeah, she is. So apparently the mom now wants to press charges against her. Y'all, this is going to be a major case. Most definitely. Got a lot of work to do. I guess the mom says she has some type of video evidence proving that these kids had something to do with her murder. The feds are going to get to the bottom of this, and they're about to be making arrests real soon. Definitely. We need that autopsy report ASAP. Okay, I'll go get it right now, and I'll call you when I have it. Okay. Okay. Marcel, can you interview Kayla? I got you, boss. I'm on it. And I'll call Jordan, and we'll interview Deja and Elise tomorrow. Okay. And Autumn and her mom, they should be in here shortly. They claim they have some type of video proof that she didn't have anything to do with this. Good. I can use that for her defense. Sure. All right.
Mr. People. Hey, how's hey, it going? what's going on, right? Thanks. I appreciate you meeting me down here under the circumstances. Yeah, like, I just wanted to see my baby. You know, all this just doesn't sound right. And then six thousand dollars to get my baby home? I know, I know that's expensive. But the first thing I need to know is, did she have life insurance? I have no idea. Okay. All right. Well, I want you to know everything is going to be okay. All right. Okay. We're here so we can see her body, figure everything out, and then you know we'll right. give you the information. Okay. Hi. How hey, are how you? you doing? Listen, we received Nicole's body this morning. And I just wanted to bring you both back. I have something I want to show both of you. Though. Hawk. What are all these bruises on my baby's body? Oh my God. The medical report that I got from Mexico said that she died from alcohol poisoning. Okay, I just completed the second autopsy. She wasn't poisoned. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Are you sure? Yes, I'm positive. <laughs> I knew someone right. There's one more thing I wanted to mention. If you look back here, she's got a crack in her spine and her neck is broke. Are you serious? Oh, yes. Baby. It's the people. <laughs> Mr. Peoples, it's gonna be okay, all right? <laughs> okay. We're gonna figure it out, okay? <laughs> it's gonna be all right, Mr. Peoples. I can't believe this. What happened? She definitely wasn't poisoned. Hey, beautiful. Hey, handsome. You got something for me? I do. She back there? Yeah, all the way down to the left. First room. Thank you. I thank you. Nigga, please. Oh, that's us? Yeah. OK. Hello, we're with the local news. I don't think anybody's here. Yeah, she has a car, but I don't see it either. Be ashamed if we can't enter without. Hello. I don't see anything. No keys. No luggage. Nothing. This is a waste of time. Let's go over to the next witness home, Caleb's. Caleb. Okay. I hear he's the best friend. If we leave now, I feel like we can make it there before the FBI gets there. Let's, Let's go. go. Hi there. My name is Attorney Jennifer Taylor. I'm going to ask you a few quick questions. Okay. I ain't got nothing to hide. Good. Hello? This better be important. Look, you probably need to be trying to get out of there like ASAP. Girl, I ain't going nowhere. I'm tired. What's she talking about? Look, reporters just left my house, like in my house. Damn, that's fucked up. Yeah, well, what's even more fucked up is that I overheard them saying that the feds was on their way to your house. You bullshit. Yeah, so don't say I ain't never did nothing for you. Hold on, wait, wait, where you going? Somewhere where I can't be found. I want to ask you about your relationship with Nicole Peoples. All right. Were you two friends? We went to school together. Were you close? We weren't besties, but we hung out. You two do business together? No. She ever loan you any money? Why? I'm just asking. Most friends loan each other money all the time. She loaned me money a time or two. You pay her back? No, I didn't have to. And what does that mean? She owed me money. Enough money to kill her for it? I didn't kill her. She died from alcohol poisoning. That's not what Autumn said. Well, Autumn lying. She was fighting her too. So you and Autumn fought in the call. Yeah, and Elise. Look, everybody's saying that Autumn is blaming Deja for this, and then Malachi trying to blame me for this shit. Can you believe that? All three of you fought in the call within 24 hours. Yeah, that bitch deserved it. Caleb, I'm sorry, man. Don't mean to startle you. I'm attorney Marcel Salters. I'm working on a case with Miss Peoples. You know your friend Nicole's mom? 
She told me that you was in Cabo with Nicole, man. I'm just here to ask a few questions and actually see how you doing, man. Let me, let me call you back. Fuck. So, man, what's, what's going on? Man, look, Nicole was my friend, all right? This whole situation is just fucked up. I know this may be hard for you, man, but I need you to tell me the truth. Caleb, I need to know everything that happened that night. Look, man, I'm gonna tell you like I told Miss Peoples. We was at the beach, we was partying, having drinks. It was all good, and she passed out. That's it. Come on, man, tell me the truth. Tell me about the fight that happened tonight. Yeah, the one between Deja and Nicole? Who told you about the fight? How you doing, Deja? I'm attorney Jordan Roberts. I just want to ask you a few more questions. I just said I'm done talking. OK. Would you like something to drink? A pop. I'm going to get you a pop. But before I do, I think you should know that uh, your friend Malachi, he said you're the one that killed Nicole. Deja now is the number one suspect in this investigation. In that same video, it's got you in it, man. Man, hold the fuck up. Videos of Autumn fighting her too, and Malachi was the one holding her down. Don't motherfuckers ain't about to pin all this shit on me. Why, man? Why you didn't stop the fight? Unless did you kill Nicole? Me either. Hey, I right, check this out. What? And we won't stop until the person who killed her is arrested. Tell us what happened. Our daughter went to Cabo with six of her friends. And within 24 hours, whew, our daughter was dead. Is there anything else you would like the public to know? We all seen a video of Autumn beating our daughter. The others beat our daughter too. We want those killers to know that they will be extradited. We want those killers to serve jail time where they belong in Mexico. Thank you for your time. My thoughts and prayers are with you and your family. All right, so who wants to start? Inside, go. Word on the street is. Best friend Caleb is a fucking liar. He lied and said Elise killed her. I'm thinking Autumn may have to take the stand. Deja has evidence. No, I have a video that shows Deja clearly fighting Nicole. And where is Zeke? Can't find Zeke or Malachi, and I've been looking for both of them. What type of friends are these? No, they weren't friends. More like friends. <gasps> Excuse me, guys. Hey, Justin, you mind if I talk to you for a minute? Yeah, yeah just give me one. Sure, no problem. Guess what? Please get Nicole's doctor on the phone for me. Her testimony can save our claim. I already called the hospital in Mexico this morning, and they cannot find the doctor. Oh, fucking mm -hmm. believe it. It's always something. Um, just give me one second. Let me take care of this. That's crazy. Hey, so I'm sorry. I got caught up on a call with a client. Mm -hmm. But there's a guy in your office named Rick. And he's been waiting here for a while. And that's the ex-boyfriend. I believe so. Hopefully he can tell you something about this case. OK. All right, thanks a lot. I really yeah, appreciate no you. Hey, how you doing? Justin Roberts. What's going on? Rick Douglas, how you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I came because I thought I could help. Yeah, I took a look at your background. I think it helped us out as well. Yeah, I mean, me and Nicole, we weren't together, but doesn't mean I didn't love her. So when last time you talked to her? About a month ago. I could show you some text messages. Perfect. This is exactly what we need. We happen to have everybody's phone number that was on that trip? Yeah, I do. On top of that, I can unlock phones, get into social media accounts, anything. Are you serious? Yeah, I am. Hey, I seen you uh, study cybersecurity at Hampton, right? Yeah, top of my class, too. So where we get started? Okay, so listen. After talking to Deja, we got to make a strong defense for our client, Autumn. Why? What did she say? That she's innocent. Yeah, but you know I got that video that shows that she's guilty. Look, I know. Nothing about this case makes sense at all. The stories are just not connecting. Well, it's our job to make them connect, huh? 
We got to make sure that our client is proven innocent. Well, she's guilty. Come on now, you know me. I'm going to defend who I'm supposed to defend. End of story. Whoa, 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 ladies. What are we going to do about this media? <laughs> Look at this video. It's a viral. Look how many views it got. What do you mean? We turn the media in our favor. That's what we're going to do. OK. And now listen, I hear everything you're saying, but. Okay. Have you guys seen social media? Oh, hold on. We got to turn the news on. OK, OK. No, not right now. Come on, y'all. The news keeps spinning us. And we on the high profile case, Jordan. You're going to want to see this. They keep spinning this every day. Turn this shit off, please. Turn this no shit off. No problem. <laughs> I know the feds is watching this fuckery. <laughs> yeah, and they saying, this here is some crazy shit. <laughs> we wanted to stop by to give our condolences and to check on you. Thank you. I'm glad you did, and I appreciate it. But um, I wanted to ask you guys a couple of questions. Yeah, anything at all. We just want to help. So, were you guys there when those girls jumped on my daughter? I actually didn't get there till the next day, so. N no, she was passed out at the bar. The bar? Wait a minute. First, somebody said she was passed out in the room, and then somebody else said the beach. Uh, I don't know, ma'am. You don't know? <sighs> Is that every time I talk to one of y'all, I get a different story. You know what, ma'am? I need to take care of some things. I need to leave, so I'm just gonna head out and So are y'all at least gonna come to the funeral? I will be there. But I do have to figure out what to wear. Oh, me too. Are you serious? Is this what you're worried about? Well, there's gonna be a lot of cameras there. I have to look good. Right? Wearing all white might be the look. I was thinking cream. That's a good point, because it's after Labor Day, so no. Boy, if you two don't get the fuck up out my house, my daughter's dead. Dead. And you got the nerve to be talking about some accoutre? Huh? You dumb as hell. Let's get out of here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before you go, I think it's good that you should know that I got the second autopsy report on my daughter. That's a, that's a good thing, right? A damn good thing. You see, the autopsy report stated that my daughter, she didn't die of an alcohol poisoning, but of a broken back and neck. Yeah. So all you little dumb bitches are going to jail. So get the fuck up out my house. Because I've been quiet. Y'all too loud. So what the hell is y'all playing? We don't fuck with that bitch. Simple as that. Look, that's between y'all. I only came for the free trip, so. Okay. Yeah. Shit. Fuck this bitch at this point. Yeah, y'all wild, but I get it. Y'all been playing this shit for weeks, ain't you? Mm -hmm. Months actually. Is he know about it? And he on the way? Yeah. Should ain't nobody tell mm -hmm. her to pay five thousand dollars for us for no trip? Exactly. Dumbass. This is a dumbass bitch. Hell, always showing off. I hate that bitch, bro. Dog, would y'all just shut the fuck up and stick to the plan? And everything would be good, all right? I hear her coming. Let me first say, I have a daughter. And I pray she never befriends jealous, evil, cold-hearted, so-called friends like you all. I am saddened for the victim's family. The late poet Langston Hughes once said, Justice is a blind goddess. I'm trying to figure out what's taking you bitches so long to get naked. <laughs> and who's trying to go skinny dipping with me? Ain't no skinny dipping, bitch. Oh, so I want to find out.
that you was fucking my nigga, all them nigga and the least niggas. Bitch, you think you better than me? Bitch, 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 bitch. I know jail can never bring back the deceased. So, it is with great pleasure that all six defendants have been found guilty of murder by the Mexican authorities. You all will be extradited immediately and serve sentences there. Case dismissed. <gasps> We shall listen when our elders would say that everyone who smiles in your face is not your friend, frenemies. Who really needs enemies with friends like you? Frenemies. But we're Okay. So All right. Fam, fam, fam. What's up? Welcome to the Lion Den out here in America. Uh, if you want to see me play it again, you know, so we can hang out a little bit and analyze it, chop it up in the uh, chat, you know, we will. It's a shame that these people are still out here in the street. Let me see. It's a shame. Who thinks it's a shame out here in America? It's a shame they still out here. And one of the best parts of this right here, y'all, that was best. And I just pray it come true. When it was in them orange jumpsuits at the end. <laughs> hey, ooh, man, are y'all waiting for them to be putting them jumpsuits like James Dunmore? Uh-huh. That, that was Alicia Watts' uh, boyfriend out here in America. He, yeah, he finna get it, but I, I can't wait until Cabo 6 get them handcuffs, y'all. When God work it out, because, see, God is working it out. You know, we can sit here and analyze this, and a lot of it, you know, it ain't correct. But the YouTube streets is still buzzing, but the actual public streets, the public streets, y'all, is where something like this will catch the eye again. Because, see, the public has, uh, say, for instance, been the, the trash can lid or the lid has been put on the public. See, us here on YouTube, we go through here, yeah, this and this and that and, and this and that and analyze and analyze. And there's a lot of people, you know, this can went away. So... If this did go out to America, you see the YouTubers, oh man, we've been on it. Yeah, chill. Let's put this in front of millions of people that have went back to sleep. Because it's not millions and millions that still fall in this case. That's okay. But Shanquilla Robinson, what her family gave us, the mother and the father, problems to the side, was an angel that we seen get jumped on, get beat, and everything in St. Lucas. Cabo, we saw it for ourselves. We saw it for ourselves. And like I said, the beautiful thing on this right here was seeing them like in handcuffs back there, y'all. Man, I was like, bro. And it makes me feel kind of good. But I wish this can go viral. So if you're on Facebook or whatever, hey, share it if people, because just think, you know, you can think of some people on your timeline that that's uh safe fences not falling the case the way you are and the way i am so things like this hey man we gotta share we gotta give back to america the public that way the folks can get back on them cabo six folk and that's what safe fences are make the, 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 the with respect hey the, the 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 police and the government move when the people start raising a voice and this time, hey, we got to say we don't want Desiree Jackson walking around here with us in America. You see, they change the names. They flipping it from person to person and, and, you know, OK. But if they put this out in the public, yeah, we got it on YouTube. Yeah, this, did you see that? But no, 
We need this back in the news. We need this out in the world. I get, I know y'all get what I'm saying, but give it back to the world. So, you know what I'm saying? Uh, they can get, you know, that way that they, they'll see that, you know, something is kind of moving with that. Like, wait a minute, that's a movie. And then the next thing you know, we got the world back on it. The world was loud. And some of the world has lost hope when, hope when it came to, or when it comes to our sister Shanquilla. You know, we're going to say in recent history, but you put it back right here. A lot of people think that the young lady is in jail. All right, let me know if you want me to replay it again. You know what I'm saying? I'll replay it again. And, uh, you know, we'll flow over with it. But, you know, for the people that haven't saw it, uh, I know a lot of people have, uh, but I'm beaming this across a couple of platforms of people that haven't seen it. So I'm just trying to, you know, get that algorithm out there. So if you're new here, make sure you subscribe. If you're over on Facebook, Twitter, follow wherever you're seeing this, or even after this live right here. And uh, we, we, this is the new Shanquilla Robinson, uh, what is it, like docu-series. I got docu-movie up at the top. Uh, movie Cabo, Mexico. You know what I'm saying? So, but welcome. Make sure you, uh, you know what I'm saying, subscribe and hang out. I hey, appreciate that, Scorpio. Yeah, I done watched it about nine times. <laughs> out here in america though just checking it out you know just just looking at it and in my mind i'm like yeah i can point out that word word dang it man get this to the world you know send this out to the world and uh, i get credit and shots out to uh tubi you know what i'm saying the independent movie site that uh did this and promoted and uh put it out you know here there's something i can't say i fully agree with it you know i, I can't say you know i don't know who put it out it was a queen because I hope they pension and Quilla Robinson family. You know, me too. If I, you know, yes, hopefully everything will wake up. I mean, work out, you know what I'm saying, with that. So, you know, if they do, yeah, hopefully they have something in there. And then on top of that, yeah, it'd be nice if the family can uh, get together. It's just you know, with me, it ain't no forceful, but if they can get together and get an independent uh, film put out, you know, and uh, that'd be cool. You know what I'm saying? Get an independent. Uh, you know, uh, Shaquilla Robinson story, you know, reenactment of the Cabo thing. That'll be tight right there, you know, if they agree, because I'm going to tell you the world will pick back up on that right there, you know, because the media have, you know, they don't speak on it, and that's what you need. And you start putting Shaquilla Robinson name out in the uh, national media, and uh, it's, it's going to go worldwide like it did the first time, because people is going to remember that um, that um, that that video that we saw so you know what i'm saying and when you see that and you're gonna have the brothers outraged again and you know because there's a lot of brothers outraged and uh you know hey and once they come back around i can explain to them that the guy in the bathroom that who they was like well he wasn't there but let him know hey he agreed and then uh, this movie he got locked up but he came back to the house in the united states of america and mr zero wiggins did not you know bro you should have told him how that young lady face looked like mr robinson explained it to us you know the knot on the eye not uh look no nah, dog our sister i was busted to hell from my understanding he said the blood clot i would have said not i would have said just i would say the knot. i wouldn't even say nothing about no blood clot in the eye but the blood clot where he showed that you know you got to be kicked and punched in the eye to get that blood clot so anyway you know that's what we'll let the world know if it take off with him if they see this but anyway you know like i say i think it'll wait like the world back up you know and uh you know that's what i think though so i don't know what the hell but one thing i did like though and i want to see is them uh purple jumps you no know, them uh what was it them orange jumpsuits and trousers is what uh cabo cynics need to be in plats need to be in it uh baby powders need to be in it not saying they ain't gonna get in it when i need one at least need one give us some toilet tissue and who else what was that uh at least over there give us some toilet tissue too and miss oxnees the one and only oxnees when oxnees set up there and, 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 and put her knees on our sister yes and then when you look at them type of knees she got right there it ought to be outlawed when they get her but but Desiree jackson needs to go back to mexico needs to go back to mexico and serve her time now i don't give them saying nobody else send her back knees and all knees and all if it get cold put on some uh put on some long damn socks and send her back since she want to use her kneecaps as weapons something went on in that room and they know it and god know it 
uh, Dejeuner, and we seen it with her dirty knees putting it up against our system. And excuse me to the people that don't want to hear like a, uh, me get a little, I, I got to do that for a minute because it's sad that these people are still walking out here in the street. And I'm just saying, you know, walking around, you know, to the, if the police department in here, yeah, it's just weird and it's sad after what they did to Shanquilla over some money or maybe over because they may think she was arrogant or think she thinks she is all this and all of that. But damn it, do it take everybody in one room to jump on a female? And she got even the little boys in the room threatened, huh? Threatened? You mean to tell me so she had all the little boys in the damn back room? Uh, I mean, and the boys and women are just threatened from her lifestyle. So we're going to whip her in St. Lucas Carver. Who? Shaquilla Robinson. Oh, okay. 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 I see. I get it. Now, if you're new here, we're discussing uh, Shaquilla uh, Robinson, the docu-series. Um, you know, I guess many movie, I say, out here in America, though. And uh, you have we have a lot of people that's going to chop it up or whatever. Hell, I, you know, I'm just looking like, okay, now throw this out here in the mainstream, you know, the mainstream, independently. Like, you know, it ain't got to be a big movie. This one right here, put it out there. Put it out there and let some big name, Kyrie Irving, or somebody just speak out on it. Letting the world know why they own a, a national platform that is there. You know, uh, DJs, if you're listening, man, music DJs, speak on it, man, for me, brother. If you know a DJ, let them know, matter of fact. See, I'm trying to figure out how can I network with the chat, you know. I'm trying to get creative over here as a CEO. How in the hell can we get this to go? So if you know a DJ over there, uh, I'm saying white, black, Asian, however you love the line, then, hell, we all is there. One right now. If you can get it to the DJ, the Spanish, the white, the black one, whatever, hey, send it to him. Tell him that it's a doc. Uh, tell him, say through that microphone out to his listeners that, there is a documentary on Tubi, you know what I'm saying, dealing with that Shanquilla Robinson. And, uh, man, you know, and have them check it out and have them speak on it. That way we can go to a nice audience. That way we can get the Internet talking and uh, the world talking a little bit more. Because, like I say, man, it's almost like a lid was put on this in America, though. But, you know, he working it out, God working it out. Because, you know, look at this, uh, this real riving out here. In America, yeah, I said ox knees, dirty knees, purple sex. Yes, they need to get them kneecaps if they have to put uh shapes what's that shackles on them and get it on a boat. That one there, bro. I don't, I don't be saying people need to get on the boat. Well, I'm telling the story, certain people, but they need to put her back on the boat, designate Jackson, and actually clear cook and uh and wipe that Vaseline off his damn face before you send him back out from America back to his house in Mexico. Because what the hell he damn done? And see, I feel like Khalil Cook done something because he was like the next one that was like close to the sister. Huh? So you mean to tell me? I'm just saying, though, it's, a, it's sad. You got some boys, because they're not men, angry, feeling threatened from a female. Like, come on, man. Like, come on. Like your blacks. Like, come on. It's sad. But yeah, they need to go back to damn Mexico, really all of them. But I take some type of deal where, you know, where some of them can go to the American prison and that way the, the prisoners here, the inmates, will be a little familiar with them. You know what I'm saying? Here, yeah. if they do, I think I got a cousin, man. And he may not, he may be getting out. He ain't doing no, nothing not bad or whatever. I might have to uh talk to him on that. Hey, you remember them cowboys? They can got damn uh convicted over here in America, bruh. And I know they're going to be down south that way. So, you know, I'm just saying. <laughs> For what they did with Quilla, hmm, it had to be a setup. What's that? Tubin going to have a part two when U.S. Marshals uh, go to uh, go get Cabo 6. <laughs> so they're going to have a part two. <laughs> yeah, but yes, Satan. As you look uh, in the movie, they are saying uh, Lease was saying uh, and was doing a lot. And, and, and I ain't sure, though, in the middle, I mean, I'm trying to think in the beginning, because I'm trying to think, they said at least uh, put hands on our sisters. I think, I don't know. I, I was trying to remember that. Like, I think they said that, uh, I don't know. I think all oh, them, at least it, it, all but one or something. I don't know. But, yeah, it was a couple of hands put on Quilla. I wasn't there. Okay, Nazir, I wasn't there. I'm trying to analyze it. And see, we can do this the easy way with him if he going to damn tell it. He know good and where. 
he seen that girl face like that. Okay, they got him playing a white boy getting off the airplane. White boy, no, he no damn well he can go in there with his little white self. Now listen, now, if you knew here, I'm talking about the Nancy Wiggins guy. They made him a white guy. He could have took his little white ass in there and used common sense. That look, she may be drunk, but she took a butt whooping, bro. Like, come on, man, you on him about this, that, that. Why you on him about this, that, that? Because her damn face, or because she wasn't waking up. Because he supposed to be on him about this, that, that, about the eye and mouth that he did not clarify. That's why we be over here and we have to try to clean it. Boy, that's why we over here taking his little balls, y'all, the Nazir guy, because use common sense. I don't care if he called Miss Robinson, went to the damn house with Miss Robinson and them and none of that. Boy, you should have got, you should have went up there. You should have went up there and told the damn truth to the police, period, y'all, from what he saw. Now, you know what Coochie is, excuse me, like, you know what Boom Boom is, all of that, but he don't know when somebody can got whipped. Like, come on, man, I wasn't there. There it is, Carmen. I wasn't there. It's what he said, y'all. Y'all want to hear me say it? He, I wasn't there. Where is it at? We're gonna, let's get him on standby real quick. Let's get him on standby. Wait, wait, yeah. let's take that up. Wait, what, Nancy, was you there? I wasn't there. Huh? You weren't there? I wasn't there. Yeah, you was there, bro. And you saw the knot and everything on the head. Her eye and all that. Mr. Robinson said, man, the girl had a knot on her head in one of the interviews. He said it. And then he's sitting up here coming here play pimping with us. I wasn't there. Nah, you was play pimping. What about the knot on her head? I wasn't there. Nah, you was there when you got there. You seen a knot on the head. And I seen on the TV right here, you open up the door for the nurse. So you was there to know she was with. We don't care nothing about. No damn alcohol poison. I wasn't there. Yeah, you was there, buddy. Like your black. He was there to tell us, y'all, that that girl had a knot on her head, but he really didn't see it to, he really didn't see it to the I nurse. I wasn't there. there. Nah, brother, when the nurse got that baby. I wasn't there. there. Nah, he was there, because he told us that the nurse came right in after him. Mr. Degrees. If Bridget Bright, in, if she in the, if she in the chat, you know what I'm saying? Me and her chop it up about these damn degrees to say I wasn't there. He got them degrees not to tell the truth out here in the damn America. Hey, look, we don't need no people out here in America not telling the truth, bro, or something like that, man. Your little neighbor down there, like I say, selling water illegal out the apartment, selling candy and stuff out there you don't supposed to do. You don't tell it on. But when somebody lose their life, when, when somebody lose their life, like, bro, you got to do the right thing. When somebody lose their life in the process, that's another level right there. Okay, you don't tell nothing on your neighbors. The dog duking in the yard, okay? You, they selling candy. You, you don't section that. You don't supposed to sell out of that. Your baby daddy over there, and they make no... Leave that alone. When somebody lose their life, yeah, you might want to tell it. You might need to tell it, Nazir. We seen the way they reenacted the bruises on our sister face and stuff. You know, I was like, damn, I'm, you know, that right there, I'm like believing because, they, you know, I don't know who the hell in there, but they put a, a whipping on Shanquilla Robbins. Oh, they feeling threatened. Oh, she, she got a tappy mouth. All of you got damn smart mouth, okay? Don't just act like she talk too much and all that. All of you talk too much. Even, if, even the little damn boys that was in there Watching it, even in the damn world. Hold on, that's it. Ain't nobody said your damn name over here. I'm talking about the other damn world. Why, boy? Okay, you was there, bro. Okay, let's get him situated real quick, y'all. You know, we, bro, you was there and you told us about the that. Oh, I ain't really see the knot on her head. I ain't really see the knot on her head. I got the damn, I, I got him out here on video saying, okay, but. Let's get back to this movie, though. Now, I can replay it, you know. <laughs> hey, y'all stop laughing at me out here in America in the Lion Den. And I'm serious. You know how I, I figure speech it out here in America, you know. But, yeah, they left the damn sister, our daughter, little cousin, uh, our baby girl in Mexico. You seen it here how, damn, what was it, uh, Khalil? That looked like Khalil was trying to beat him out there first. Out there. Like, I'm getting out of here. For what? For what? And you need to be telling it, bruh. 
See, these guys right here is examples of you need to turn your bar over. And I'm serious, man. I'm serious. And then you got Nazir Wiggins go get on the damn plane with him. How you go get on the damn plane with her and you probably you've been friends long with this girl longer than anything. Okay, now this scene right here is where uh, Khalil Cook, y'all, went to get that money. Uh, somebody went and got a refund, like everybody was saying. Hell, I was late on it. I mean, I'm, I'm up on it now, though, but when I was looking at it, I said, damn, yeah, somebody went and got that refund. And I like the way the producers, you know, looking, listening to the damn YouTubers, because they ain't getting it from nowhere else. Not, not just me. They, you know, from them looking and using common sense like us and put this in there. That's cookie. That's vaseline. That's baby powders right there. Gonna take our sister money and transfer and come back to the house. You know, we're gonna say that's baby powders. KC cookie, right here, trying to get the money back. Okay, over in Cabo, working it out with the people at the damn cash region. <clears throat> Excuse me. And you see, and, and you can see like a cover up coming because we know it was a damn cover up. So damn, it's it, it's sad if the person at the checkout was like, "Hey, dog, you know, hey, we ain't trying to do it. Hey, go on and take this and go on on." Because we know, shortly after that doctor or whatever, somebody called a sprinter or something and transferred to the damn airport or another hotel or to a lodge. Or there's something over there and then you know that mean you left tranquilla no what they saying you know in big words here yeah, she drunk a lot she and you know she uh you know and so she drunk a lot yeah man leave her and then man she can pass away she had leave her bro and then you got wiggins out there beating everybody out the room well now nah, he's still in the room He's still in the room getting the information though, y'all. And this right here, right? This is how you set him up. He's still in there with, with Quilla, with the nurses and everybody seeing our sister unalive. And he, he beat them getting on the damn plane and ain't come tell nobody that. Like they left out the room first and he need to be calling Mr. Robinson and telling him, right, this how they, that's how they walked out the room. And you know, this is how he need to come back and tell him, look at this little documentary. I'm, I'm Zero Wiggins and I want y'all to look at this right here from Tubi. You see the way they was doing it? Yes. And y'all need to lock him up. Maybe he can he can tell him like that because he once he got there, because in here it showed him get there. Let's cut it. Okay, when you was there, you know, when the nurse came, like he said, he got the hour before and all of that, and you know. But that but you got Khalil Cook right here to sing. Well, he up there trying to get that money back. And see, she paid for the whole trip, you know. From my understanding, she paid for it. Hmm. Hmm. But man, 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 though, y'all. It's it'll be nice, and it's gonna be nice to see at least one of them go ahead and get them damn handcuffs. And I don't even care what jumpsuit. Man, 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 man. Wait a minute, bro. Chill out. We I'm talking about one of y'all getting it. You you stepping up now. Don't make me say you need to get them first. And we know ox knees over there. And then just imagine you got ox knees out here. You got sister Jackson out here that's damn walking free. Where they do that at? Where did he do that at? Well, this young lady, well, I ain't gonna say young lady, this damn executioner gets to walk around here in America. Huh? Boy, Ronald Reagan would have put heat on her, y'all. <laughs> Ronald Reagan would have put heat on her. George Bush would have threw it back over there. George Bush would have threw ox knees back over there. He would have said, turn around, turn around, uh-uh. Hey, boy, uh, boy, George would have told her to turn around. Yeah, that's what would have happened, though. But how do these people get to walk around here in America? I'm saying, like, really? Okay, from my understanding, uh, the judgment is in, like, a guy named, what, Benjamin? You know, let's salute our sister, uh, Calf of Knowledge, you know what I'm saying? Because she uh, helped me understand that, you know, checking out some of her videos over there where, there's, you know, the Benjamin guy, damn, get on the stick. Get on the damn stick, bro, and let's climb up the damn pole. Let's get on the stick. I mean, how the hell do a, a, a man can sit back and hopefully not an African American man, you know what I'm saying? And not, you know, I ain't trying to bring color, but then sit up there and see a sister, young lady, get beaten like that. Get beaten like that. 
nah, there need to be some justice for our sister fully, y'all. They do. And, you know, somewhere, somehow, I hope this break out there and, like, people that ain't, you know what I'm saying, Quill is in their mind, but due to the fact they're not playing it on TV because and then they send this out, boy, it'll be on like a pot of damn neck bones out in America. But if this can go viral and if they, uh, you know, you know, hey, Genesis, I'm confused. Movie can be made of it. Hey, I, I think this is some independent producer <clears throat> just putting his take on it. And uh, that's why all the names are crossed up. You know what I'm saying? Like that, that away legally. And I, I see what they do. They're doing it legally, like though. And uh, you know, hey, they they not you know they're not actually using nobody name and likeness. That's the biggest thing that they're not um, using their names and likeness. Actually, you know, and they even mixing like the body styles up a little bit. Like this is that's and they they using her because for once she got a, a warrant. So I, I can get why they're using her. And see these people, this Cowboy Six don't want no media. They don't want no media, I believe, you know. And then what's the use to try to go to court on uh, YouTube? That shit going to be in the news. It's going to be in the media. It, social media will go crazy if they come out trying to do. I mean, I ain't saying they can't or won't try to do some legal action. But, man, that the Internet will go crazy. And I always felt that the attorneys probably told them, just go away. You got to be able to take a blow to the jaw. If there's an, if you get hit in the kneecap, hey, you know. You just hold you better hold it in you know what you done you know so going on out in the world now we're gonna hook you up a little bit out here in the damn america you know and that might be what they telling now we're gonna hook your ass up out here in america going on about your bed go ahead now stay out from them clubs don't you know go on going on about your damn bed so that might be what they telling them but ox needs though she needs to go back to mexico and i'm saying khalil cook next man and and that's it as the community i think we ought to uh, advocate for him to go first from the community because damn bro just like tell us what you seen when you went over there mr robinson deserve it miss robinson deserve it both sides deserve it man both sides deserve it and like i say he can't get around what the dad said Nazir cannot get around what the dad said he did he, he can't he can't get around that because he clearly told us about the not on the head listen yeah, but other than that, I did. Oh, yeah, I know y'all probably asking that I when I walked in there, I didn't um I didn't really notice the the knot on her head. She had a she did have a, a bug vessel busting her eye. I didn't Yeah. And see he should have came back to America and told that right there. How Khalil cook up here ready to steal our sister damn money at the cash register over there in Mexico, not in America. And see you know that's where one of them was up there somebody went up there and stole the money if quilla paid her way over there, okay okay now somebody went up there and got the money they didn't forget the uh like two pieces of luggage they left one they left a phone from my understanding and they left our sister quilla come on man come on and i just vision as y'all up in a vehicle with him on the way out of there yeah man we gotta go and then you got one or two of them you know, call trying to call Mama Robinson with that mess. You know, uh, yeah, yeah. But come on back to the house. Come on back. And the thing is, boy, you, they ain't go to the right house, okay? That way, Charles, Black CEO, Tim, Derek, Mike, uh, uh, or what, Marvin, and all of us in there said, man, what happened to our little cousin? And then that way, you get woe out in there. That way, they could have got woe out up in there. Tell me what they're going to wear and all of that. Because what I'm gonna do is probably put my grandma chair across one of them grill, okay? I think I might put my chair across one of them grill, okay? Because, bruh, you ain't finna tell me that up in the house. And, you know, nah, bruh, it what happened to my little cousin. So, you know, that's who probably had a whole lot of people back then, because it had been done. They'd be like, dang, I don't know why the family put chairs, folding chairs on that guy. Why the hell they put folding chairs on? That's probably what it would have been. He did that bathroom video. He, it's a conspiracy. Go back to the bar. And be like, bro, no, no. We had to put some hands on all of them, bro. For our sister, Willa, man. How do you leave her over there? Least everybody need to get on the phone. Nazir, it shouldn't be a mystery. It, who called? It shouldn't be a damn mystery. It shouldn't be a mystery 
who called? But we know Mr. Man right here might have been the one to call. Right here, you know, okay, it's what? Khalil Cook. It's Cookie. So he out in the hallway trying to call and run the bobo. We know it was the other way around. We know it was the other way around when he called back to America, breaking the damn law. You know, we know they skipped out the six grand. But from my understanding, they're going to have some more parts to this. I ain't sure, but I, uh, I uh, heard that they may have some more parts to it. And I appreciate uh, the queen that shot that to me, though, over there. I see over there in America in my inbox. Appreciate it. They left her. They left our sister. <clears throat> Excuse me. I got to get off that, that, that drink of soda all day today. Yeah, they left our damn sister over in the room and see Nazir in there. And see, that's the good. Well, see, at least I ain't like, right. You got the information, Nazir. <laughs> you was there with the doctor in there. You said you try to help her ass and all of that, that nonsense. But did you call Mr. Robinson? Did Khalil Cook call him? Did, uh, what was that? Did, did, did Platts call him? No. Did any of the boys that was in there, little boys that thought they was men in the room call Mr. Robinson? No. And from my understanding, one of them got a, uh, a child. Jay, why are you bringing a child in? Well, yeah, because they jumped on Mr. Robinson and Miss Salamander's child. Is you new to YouTube or to this damn story? Listen to what you're asking me. I ain't uh, blaming nothing on the child, on the kid. I ain't say nothing about it. I just said, he you need to remember he had a child. I'm bringing the truth and not the damn Jews. You can't jump on Miss Robinson and Mr. Robinson child and come over here and act like you don't have a child. If not, you don't know God. You don't know who you are. Your mama didn't teach you right. And so when I said that, the person was upset. How dare that's like that ain't that messed up? Yes, it's messed up. But I didn't say. Uh, do that to the child, but you need to watch out because the universe you don't want to wish and put up curse your children. But they jumped on Mr. Dan Robinson and Miss Robinson's child and they came to the house. And now, uh, Lord, behold, they out here where they driving probably with tenant windows. You know, you can do the tenant windshield now. That's gonna trip me the hell out. I in America like your blacks. So, Cabo Six probably got all tenant windows and you can tint the windshield now. So, they got so that's how you know it's damn. Out here in America, though, like damn, they got everything tinted up around here in America, and I bet they can't wait. Y'all know uh, the mask mandate may come back from thing COVID. I ain't sure. I know it's kind of spreading, but we might be wearing masks. You know what I'm saying? And they gonna love it. Who? Cabo Six, the ones that left Quilla over in Mexico, who asses need to be in jail. Though. Now this is the scene right here. Is where I'm gonna say this is baby powders out in the hallway. Baby powders actually waiting on. I'm gonna say Dejeuner, aka Oxnees. Oxnees, okay. And Oxnees then left her damn phone. Well, actually, let me see. Yeah, Oxnees going back to get her phone. I'll be back, baby powders. And then she go in the room. She get the phone with Nazir and they're witnessing uh, with Quilling had this dynamic ass whipping while he playing games in bathroom. Tell about we don't know what he went through. Did it hurt? That's what I want to send. You know, like he in the bathroom talking about. What he been through? Well, hell, if we see him asking, do it? Do it hurt? Well, yeah. Well, was it pain? Is it painful? You know what I'm saying? Do you need medication? Do you need to go to the doctor? Hell no. So Nazir need to go and sit down while he in the room while Cookie is calling uh, Mama Robbins allegedly. That's what he need to do. He need to come back to America and tell the damn truth. He the last one in the room with the doctor with. Uh, our sister Quilla, our daughter Quilla, our cousin Quilla, and then some grown men, grown men, threatened from little old Quilla. We all, okay, I'm not saying it's about Quilla, but I'm just saying, even though, not Quilla, we can bend around people that, man, that, like, man he got a small mouth, or she got a small mouth. I don't go around, but it get on my damn nerve, period. But I don't wish no harm on them. And even at that age right there, okay? Okay, you go to plan me, keep messing with me out there. Okay, I might, you know. But no, this right here is uncalled for. Mexico. Dinner. This young lady probably paid. Khalil Cook trying to get some damn money. Called for some money. Broke guy. And they set up. Now, the scene where she come down the hall, okay, Cover up a little bit. All right. I know 
Brother Robinson, I ain't spoke to him yet. I ain't spoke to him uh, today or the last, you know, yesterday was holiday. But I know our brother and I know her mother. I mean, Brother Robinson, Mr. Robinson and Miss Salamandra won't like that part. You know what I'm saying? Where they, you know, come on, man, to the producers. But I know you want to keep it real. And I just wanted to speak on that right there. Next time cover, I sussed up a little bit more. Like who? Chinquilla Robinson. I right? you do a remake that, uh, you know, cover that up a little bit more. And, and you know, you know, even though we got our hands over there, cover that up. But uh, yes, it don't make no damn sense though. You know, when we do look at this right here, and it's real. You know what I'm saying? And like it give you that flavor. Like damn, you know, okay. And I don't know. I don't know y'all but real quick though you want me to run it back anybody want me to run it back i may run it back a few minutes and uh to the new people because uh like i said i know we just we can seen it yeah i came out the other day with it you know early that day i think i was i, I don't like saying that though right now but i know i was on it quick you know what i'm saying when it was sent to me and that one little piece right there and i knew the other parts was out so that's why i just kind of felt back and chilled out that way here yeah, because i know we'll get it out this series brought chills down my spine like how close uh this could uh be to Shanquilla on a lava. Too dang close. Too we just uh open our yeah, this just open our eyes. You know, yeah. And I think somehow I wish this can kind of go viral. You know what I'm saying? To like the people that say, for instance, Quilla is in your mind, subconscious and all that. I think that's how you say it, and spin it out to the world. And, and you know if this can take off if they like i say here yeah, we got some djs in here you know you never know who's in the chat man hey hey tell them tell them take a look at it and speak on on a, on a uh evening show or morning show if we got some djs in here you know people who got a little platform and that way the people can start looking at it and sharing it across social media you know and that way uh and get the people back to talking and uh, we, we could be close to some justice for Quilla. And, and that's how I look at the video. I'm like, yeah, forget YouTube, okay? And Tubi, somehow get that in mainstream. It ain't even about YouTube. YouTube is going to analyze it to the damn draws come off of it. But send it out there to the public again. That's out there that is just, you know, take the time to look at it, you know? You get what I'm saying? Lined in. Yeah. And send it out there. And with us on YouTube, we'll break it down because see, we still out here on YouTube uh doing the thing because it's it's mil it's I'm gonna say millions of people that's not on YouTube, and it's millions of people that's on YouTube. So and to the millions of people that ain't on YouTube, you know, but on YouTube, yeah, it's gonna die down a little bit. But to get it back, people will start coming back. I'm thinking from a marketing point of view, <laughs> you know, but yeah, yes, 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 you know, get this back out. The same we got here is where Khalil Cook is calling, uh, allegedly calling Mama Robinson. Ah, excuse me, I had to drink more water. Saying that something, that Quilla is gone. You know, this is probably out the second phone call, you know. This, this is like probably like the second phone call. And as you're in the room, seeing our sister, um, after she done been jumped on, or if his ass was there, you know what I'm saying? You know, we got some people that analyze and say he was there. You know, and it's weird how he was he he popped up with a cab video about letting you know he wasn't there and all of that, man. Like, nah, bro, show me the beach. Show me you leaving the airport, the time, but well, not even the time. Because that video to me is just almost like I'm gonna keep this on standby. Why well, I had to drive back up the damn street real quick. Or once it started happening, he go down uh here and try to run out the villa and ain't know he was gone or something. And he said I wasn't there. I don't know, but anyway, but Claire Cook calling Mama Robinson need money, need this, this, that, that, that. Just trying to like damn extort her after seeing her child get whipped, get beat, get punched, get all of that. Like, come on, bro. Mm. Let me see. Let me see. Well, I guess I won't run it back and we'll just talk it out real quick, but. Yeah, I just wanted to chop it up with everybody, though, y'all, with that, you know, how you feel. Because I know everybody, Safe Fence has seen this documentary. Um, let me see something. I know everybody's seen it. Yeah, I know everybody has seen it and uh, been analyzing it. It's a few people that ain't seen it, you know, that ain't seen it. And so that's why, you know, I came through 
came through with that. But I appreciate everybody being cool and collective and respective, you know, with me replaying it. And uh, I got the got it got it muted. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna give shots out to uh, Tubi, you know, out here and to the people that created this, and um, send love to the Robinsons, uh, Mama Robinson and Mr. Robinson. And uh, like I end with that, uh, pray for both of them, you know, out here in America. I'm telling you, you know, they're sending good vibes their way because uh, it, it, it can be some good things come out, you know what I'm saying, out here, man. I, I'm, I'm feeling kind of good, you know, and whew, damn, boy. But yeah, real quick, let me say what's up. What's up, Purple Sacks? What's up, Suntan? Suntan? What's up, Homeless Ab uh, Advocate? Trainer, Nick Nick? What's up, Myra? What's up, Miss Corbett? Tan in the building, TS. Who else? What's up, uh, PD? What's up, PD? How you doing? Who else we got in here? Susie. What's up, Susie? Who else I got up in the building? I had in the building. What's that? Lavina Miles from Laverna, New York. What's up, New York? I put that up there, man. What's up, New York in the building? That'll really show uh, Mr. Robinson and Miss Robinson and the love and support that we got out here. Let me see who else. You won't see Nazir in there. Nazir, come up in there, man. <laughs> hey, what's going on, Rosa? Rosa up in the building. Good evening, right back to you. I love you, and I love you too out here in America, Rosa. Thank you for hanging in there. <laughs> well, I just try to bring the truth and not the juice. Look at Nazir. And if you looked at that right there, okay, he posed a being and walked in and all this. Boy, you got the information, boy. He got the information, y'all. Hey, fam, he got the damn information, man, out here in America. This guy could have came back and told it. This ain't your neighbor selling uh goldfish out the apartment down there. This girl lost her lost her life. And see all of this right here, they fronting though. This this what they did to him. He said they did. See, he he bringing Dr. Jackal in and everybody in there. They're gonna really help set it up. They confused. You know. You see, right here is when Khalil Cook started calling his mom. Myra Foster says, shout out from Virginia. What's up, Virginia? VA. What's up, VA in the building? We got VA in the building for the Robinsons, yeah. Our people's in, what's that, Richmond? I got folk in Richmond, Virginia out there in America. And that's all I'm gonna say. The DMVs out here. <laughs> but yeah, this is this when they in the room, they playing, and, and that's it, but hey dog. You know, like you know, he's sitting up here ready to try to come back and play. You know, and it's sad. And then they left young lady in there. I mean, like, they just like, bruh. But that lets me know it's no love. It's no damn love. It's no love. And they, you know, it, it, it just that demonic. You know, they that demonic where it's like, man, we out. We out. We ain't stirring her. We ain't stirring her. We out. And that's, and that's sad. I almost curse. You know, I'm trying not to curse. I'm trying to be good out here in America, though. But they left the young lady, come back lying. Okay. Just tell the damn truth. We'll, we'll push who lying all to the damn side. Just tell the truth. Just tell the truth. Just tell the truth. But he can't. Let me speed it up just a little inch right there. That's it playing in the background with no volume. Hold up. And this right here, Cookie and Desjanae probably leaving. You know, baby powder. Yeah, Miss Robertson, yeah, yeah. But yeah, you see, who, you, you know they call, yeah, right. So what you saying, man? I mean, like, damn, Miss Robert. I mean, like, tell me how you feel. Because it, it's linking back to what you what you feel about Robinson. You know what I'm saying? That way we can put justice for you with Quilla to the side till we figure out where you stand. That's my thing. Okay, you're right. He did call. They called, but where you stand? Because I ain't standing with none of these Cabo Six or whoever was out there, y'all. <laughs> yeah, what's up, Vane? Yeah, I ain't standing with none of them, okay? So when you go to call on my house like that, and yeah, come on back. Come on over to the house. And matter of fact, yeah, I'm going to cook you something to eat. That way, when you sit down at the table, it don't sound right. I'm going to be ready. I'm going to be ready. Uh, how y'all was ready for Quilla, though. You know what I'm saying, y'all? But, you know, how did, uh, real quick, let me know in the chat, though, before we get out of here. How did y'all, what y'all think of, give me your honest opinion of what you think about 
this docu series from what y'all been seeing from uh at the way they came out about three days ago i think that was like three days last thursday or something we dropped it what you think what y'all think and see i'm looking at it at another level like get yeah, to the world y'all i'm like i'm like get yeah, to the world Burby sex said that's right and i'm like get yeah, this to the world not I, you know not youtube give it to the real world Shit, get into the real world. YouTube, we'll chop it up. And then when you look at the piano, when you look at the cash register, you look at her hair. But now nah, get into the world that's not analyzing it, analyzing the hell out of it. So that way they can be like, what? Like, okay. <laughs> we said black just call all them Dejane and Tanny. <laughs> hey, I'm bad with names. <laughs> but uh, yeah, these damn people here, bro out here walking in america and then we got damn like we like we say little nazir i wasn't there and see this is giving us a good inside right here like i'm like yeah this is exactly what you probably was doing that's here i'm skipping there but all of them guilty but i'm looking at nazir little brother man i'm looking at him like bro why you ain't just tell it dude why you ain't just tell it like you i mean because you see everybody else playing you say you wasn't there and all this and you on about this that 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 damn it just tell that you been did that ain't that your uh ain't that his, his uh profile name ben did that shit man go on and tell it that's been a man okay this her calling mama them from what we seen trying to get the safe fences get it set up from mexico this is what i feel where everybody got to call their moms like yo man something ain't hey we can went too far over here, mom. I can, we can take it too far. Oh my God, she with her mouth or or damn quilly. That's when they got the line being that little kid, that child to their mama. You know what I'm saying? Even Malik, he probably was over there crying. Like, mom, I need your help. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Woo woo, crying. Why why woo? Yeah, whatever. But they started them damn phone calls from Cabo to their mamas. Them, I'm tell you, like yo. Like, mom, hey, I'm coming back. Yeah, uh -huh, you need your mama now. Light your blacks. Well, over here, we don't need our moms, okay? We love them. We need them. But we got this. Nazir, I, 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 I got on them and was like, you know what? Boom, team. We like, yo, let's go with this dude because it's just when we analyze it at the end and all of this. Okay, bathroom man saying he know all of this. But and then, okay before the feds gave a decision. And then after the decision, where was he at, man? Where in the hell was Nazir when the feds made this decision? I wasn't there. Yeah, we know you wasn't there. Like, when the dad, the mom, them, and everybody come from getting the judgment from the feds. I wasn't was he there. Nazir, why you wasn't there doing the right thing, telling it? You was in Mexico. I wasn't right? there. Yeah, he was there. He was there, bro. Where you wasn't there was the thing. I wasn't there. So he went at the damn, bro. So he should have been all up in the feds trying to help. He was trying to help, but he talking about himself. Why he was? He was at the feds. I wasn't there. Yeah. Oh, that's it with me. You know, damn. Don't get in a uh, piss fight with him. I'm going to say an uh, apple fight, grape fight. Uh, uh, some a spaghetti fight, a uh, pillar fight, and somebody get their little nose busted or something. Or hey, bro, he out. That's it, Wiggins out. And uh, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe. Uh, we played the documentary. We just chopping it up before we get out of here. And uh, hopefully you've seen it. If have if you have not, go back after this live and take a take a look at it. Okay, if you're new here, take a look at it. Go back. If you're on Facebook, Twitter, recheck it out. Uh, we, we just got through uh, watching the new, what's that, Shankula Robinson uh, documentary, you know, well, docu-series. So if you're new here, we're on Facebook, what's up? Uh, follow us, hit like, and uh, we discussed in Shankula and many other uh, topics and, and cases, but God got us back out here a little hard on our sister Quilla. I said that about two weeks ago. Y'all want me to get back on Quilla a little bit, you know? When we get back out here on Quilla and not play with him, you know, because you know that these friends, well, no, 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 let me, let me fix my mouth. Let me fix my mouth. These setup artists went to Mexico 
with Tranquilla Robinson, young lady, entrepreneur, just started to flourish. When the rest of these Cabo Six, Seven, Eight, or whoever the hell they are, could have uh, did what they needed to do. I don't care if you got a smart mouth, loose mouth, closed mouth, or whatever. I don't care if you got a, a paycheck from the damn car loan, whatever loan, dealership, whatever. It don't matter. Do you? These people felt threatened from Quilla. Okay, it might be some accusations. Of you. Uh, somebody owes somebody some money or whatever. But hell, if she did, she just paid like six grand for your funky butt to hang out in Cabo. But Quilla owed me some money. Were you so unthankful? Because Shanquilla just paid for you to be in Cabo with your unthankful self. Your unthankful self. Your mama got your spoil and, and got the, the, the lawyers waiting. But Quilla talked too much. Well, Quilla paid for the room. Okay, so don't come back with that argument right there because you need to be thankful. See, I got their number, y'all. They come with that. Black guy. When they put that up there, yeah. Quilla paid for the damn room. Okay, from my understanding. The chef. So if she threw that up in your face, she did pay for it. Stop being so damn selfish going on trips with people. Okay, if you didn't like it, don't go on a trip, period. Don't let don't don't say you got a hook up somewhere and then send a bill to Quill and she'd be like, all right, you know, we're going to Cabo. We're gonna say what? All right, I'll pay for it or whatever. Who hooked, you know, cause they asked her to new the people at the villa out over, no, not in America, but in Cabo away from America. I'm not investigative journalist like that. I let it damn come to me, but I wouldn't be surprised. And guess what? There's an Ajax and I hear walking on them kneecaps. She walking on them damn knees and she needs some time for what she did our sister Quilla. And just say, for instance, our sister Quilla had to go through this right here, laying on the table, okay? And I mean, this right here, just imagine. And it's sad that the family got to see stuff like this. You know, that they have to see stuff like that in real life about their child. People gone running. The court saying that here they ain't going to uh, press charges. That Zill over time he wasn't there. Well, I stopped by the house. But I went by the house. But I ain't going to the room. I ain't know it was a problem. Well, here, well, why you ain't? So, I mean, you went to the room. You allegedly said, bro, sit down somewhere, bro. Tell them to sit down. Tell them to sit down. And, and you know, I was telling the ladies to tell Nazir, boy, bye at one point. Mm hmm. Like, tell Nazir, boy, bye. Because this guy is something. Let me get my little water break. <clears throat> but yeah, he's something, though. He's something. Why you stay on? When I first started, real quick, and I'm going to get up out of here in a few minutes at about 9 15, y'all. So hang with me. When I first started, this Quilla thing, like in November, y'all, I had grown men in my inbox asking me why I'm hard on them. And they looked like it was like they homeboys, these Cabo Six. A couple of them had their damn eyebrows, I mean, arched up or something or whatever, bruh. You better get back in the room with Malik and get out my damn inbox, bruh. I'm telling you, man. Hey, bruh, don't, hey, ask them like I tell them. Why they do that to Quilla? If you want to come in here defending them, yeah, man. And then they just go away with their cute ass picture, man. But yeah, people had the audacity to come in my inbox on Facebook. Man, you you keep talking down. Why you, man? And it was comments like, bro, well, your family member ass is guilty. That's what I was telling them back then because I was new to it and I was fresh with it. I was on them before you can put the damn Thanksgiving turkey down. Before we put the turkey down. Uh, over here in America, y'all. I was on Cabo Six. I took all them videos down. That's how y'all. If you look go through my videos, you don't see all them videos. I put them on private because I was like, I'm start over taking these guys' balls out here in America. Ooh, Cabo Six. But I'm thinking about putting them back up. I ain't sure. I may, may not. But that's the videos where I, lovers and friends, uh, Malik and damn uh, Khalil Cook. What is y'all doing over there? Huh? I want to know if they go together. No, I don't. Yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe they go together. I don't know. I don't know. But y'all yeah, was on these guys taking their little balls after I seen our sister on TV, our daughter, our sister, our niece, and slung around with her clothes up. Like, bro, and look and listen to these little boys in the background. 
I, I'm old school. I mean, then I'm realizing I'm old enough to be their dad. I, I couldn't wrap my damn head around it. I couldn't wrap my head around it. Like, huh? I couldn't wrap my head around it, y'all. I couldn't wrap my damn head around what were they doing. And then my thing is, you got six like people against one. Wait, wait a minute, JB. Now she went there. No, his ass is part of the Cabo Six. He, he when he got there, and that's what he branded his name with. And he should have been in that bathroom saying, "I ain't Cabo Six. I ain't defend none of that. All in there, like a little damn girl." And when you hear the real man listen to him, I ain't get to do this. I ain't get. I ain't had no this. And then us real man in the barbershop outside the barbershop, like look at him. Like look at this look. Look at this little muck. You know, we looking like, man, sit your ass down talking about you. Talking about yourself, Nazir. Why are you on Nazir? I have to. Because I wasn't there. Listen, no, not Nazir. I have to because Black wasn't there. I wasn't there. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, no, it don't make no sense. So, I don't know. But fam, I'm going to get up out of here. I appreciate everybody hanging out with Black CEO Media. Um, I'll probably be back through tomorrow. And uh, we we'll kind of go over it. And uh, I'll be covering a Latasha Coleman case, uh, the young lady that uh, is disappeared, where well, they try to say disappeared. And I'm saying no damn deal out here in America. You know, you'll probably see me up on her case uh, so uh, uh, a little bit this week. Her, her and Quill is also, because God is kind of pushing this Quilla thing to the front. The universe is bringing it back around. But you will see me, though. But, uh, man, and like I say, you know the happy part of this video? I mean, there's a little mini series I like, y'all. I'm gonna say it again. And I hope come true when they was in them damn handcuffs. Let me see, can I get it before I go? Let me see, can I see the picture where they had handcuffs? Yeah, let me see. Let me see, man. Let me see, can I cue it up? Dang, man. Let me see, can I cue it up? But anyway, yeah, the part y'all were in them damn handcuffs, that'd be nice. I was trying to cue it up. There it is. There it is. That yeah, there it is. Ooh, that's what the, that's them and them handcuffs in the future coming. And look at Arch knees right there. Arch knees really gonna look like that. Now when she get in Mexico, when it get in the summertime, it's gonna be hot. It's gonna be hot. Send her outside. Destiny Jackson needs to be down, arrested, locked up, and activate the charge. For the assault on Shanquilla Robinson. Desiree Jackson, that warrant need to be activated by the US government, some higher ups, and they need to go get Ox Knees. They need to go get her little ass, excuse my language, and hopefully, with respect, if our brother Mr. Robinson is in here in the family, but excuse me, on this note, they need to lock her little ASS up immediately. Desiree Jackson. We know we got the warrant. And we know about them damn knees. We seen the damn video down in Greensboro where she was all weak and didn't have no power when it's one on one and all of that. Needs to be locked up a damn media immediately and send back to damn Mexico. And the rest of them, yeah, charge them over here, the boys. Send them to American prison. Okay, well, when they put them handcuffs on you, you you gonna be there. Yeah, so you went there when she, okay, but when they put them handcuffs on you last year, you're gonna be there. All right, y'all, real quick. Where my helicopters at, real quick? <laughs> where my helicopters out here? You see, more we talk and share it, the closer we get to justice. Thanks, Amy Limley. That's right. And like I said, if we got any DJs that's in here that come in out here real quick before I go. Uh, make sure if you can get DJs to talk about it, man. Let them know. Hey, man, that's that Quilla Robinson case has a, a little docu docu series. Check it out, and hopefully they like it when they speak on it and get people, uh, the audience. I don't give a damn if they black, white, red, blue, or whatever, to uh, start talking about it, sharing it, whatever. Because we need everybody to uh, to start talking so we can get Desiree Jackson, look Ox knees, Ox knees, yes, get Ox knees. Overseas, where she need to go, and damn it, we'll do a GoFundMe to get her to pay her way. Oh, we need uh, two thousand, six thousand dollars. Oh, we'll get that. We'll get that. We'll get that easy for that. Just send her back. That All right, real quick. I need y'all to take care of yourself and take care of others, man. I appreciate y'all hanging in here with me. I'm out.
the truth and not the damn juice. Listen. <laughs>